Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 180 in the series of basic math. Today we'll solve a problem on the topic of weighted average. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's go take a look at it, shall we? It says, Table below, the table below shows the frequency distribution of a variable x. Question is, what is the mean of the distribution? What is the mean of the distribution? By the way, if you are interested in watching a couple of more videos on the topic of weighted average to get some more practice, you can watch day number 76 and day number 95. This problem that you see here is the exact same problem, exact same problem that we did yesterday on day number 179. This is the second method. If you want to watch the method that we employed yesterday, which was more of a non-traditional method. You can watch yesterday's video 179, you will get something out of it. Today we'll do the same problem again one more time in more of a traditional way. So let's let's get going. So here is the frequency distribution. This is this work that you see is from yesterday. It's a different method, which is why it has a dollar sign number of people. If you're interested in, interested in knowing what this all this is, what all of this all about, you can watch as I said, day 179 and you will see how we solved it yesterday. Today we're not, talk, we're not going to do any of this thing, we're just going to do it in a very traditional way. So we have four, we have, we have, a, x, we have a variable x which takes a value of a quarter four times. Four times one and a quarter, four, four times quarter is simply one. As you can see, it's a very traditional method. There is nothing, there is nothing creative about it, it's just a very traditional method. We have value of half that appears six times, six times half is just three. Now this is where this is where the things get tricky when they give you some odd number like this and they give you a quarter you cannot divide it by that there is a reason for it they want you to do something with it they, they don't expect you to actually do it in a classical way all the way through because that will take too long you have to you have to be a little bit imaginative you have to be a little bit more creative don't look at nine as a nine look at nine as a look at nine as eight plus one look at nine as eight plus one in your mind and therefore Three quarters times eight. Let's do it here. Three quarters times eight. If you have to do it, three quarters times eight. In the real exam, of course, you should just just have to, you just have to be able to see it in a second. That four divided by eight, eight is going to become once you once you cross out the four, eight is going to become two, and two times three is six. In the real exam, you're not going to be so damn serious to actually do it on the side here. But here we go. Four goes away and eight becomes two. So we end up with three times three times two, which is six. So we end up with six, and then three. Three quarter, three quarters times one. That's three quarters. It's just six and three quarters. Are you with me? Let's continue. And then we have to multiply five. We have twelve five four. Divide top and bottom by four. Twelve becomes three, and three times five is fifteen. Still with me? Then we have this is again. This is a very simple one. Divide top and bottom by two. Ten becomes five, and five times three is fifteen. One more time. And finally, we have the same situation. We have a nine. Don't look at that nine as a nine. Look at that nine as eight plus one. And again, we have seven, seven quarters, seven quarters times eight. Let's do it here. Seven quarters, seven quarters times eight. Four is going to drop out, and eight is going to become two. So it's seven times two is fourteen. And you don't have to do all of this. You can see it from here. Once you cross out the four, eight becomes two, and two times seven is fourteen. It should take a split second. It shouldn't take this much work. It only takes a split second to see. It's just seven times two. Why is it seven times two? Because eight divided by four is two. So it's, it's fourteen, and then we'll have one times seven seven quarters. So that's it. It's fourteen and seven quarters. It is fourteen and seven quarters. Are you with me? Now simply we simply have to add it up. I need the room. Obviously, we're going to have to erase the work from yesterday. All of this work is gone from yesterday. And let's add them up. That's it. As I told you before, these numbers are there for a reason, and you will see there. You can see immediately, you can see what's going on here. Here we have three quarters, here we have seven quarters. And we're going to leave it alone. We're going to leave them alone until the end. That just becomes ten quarters. We're not going to worry about that. We'll, wor we're, we'll worry about, we'll deal with them at the very end. So, this thing, the way I wrote it, it annoys me. The, the, the digits are not lined up. I don't know, usually I don't do work like this. Three and one, I'm going to bring it together, so at least they line up here. So here we go. I'm going to pick up speed here. 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 6, 6 is 10. So this, these three values become 10. Are you with me? 6 plus 3 plus 1 is 10. And this is 30. 30 plus 10 is 40. Are you with me? 30 plus 10 is 40. 40 plus 10 is 50. 
50 plus 4 is 54, so we end up finally, we end up with 54. We end up with 54 and 3 quarters and 7 quarters, so just 10 quarters. Are you still with me? Very good. One more time if you like, one more time if you like. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 4 plus... 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10. So that's how we get the 10. 1, 6, 3 and 1, that's 10. This is 30. 30 plus 10 is 40, 40 plus 10. This is a four, 10, you see? 14, I broke it up into 10 and a 4. So that 10, 30 plus, 30 plus 10 is 40, 40 plus 10 is 50, 50 plus 4 is 54. That's where we get the 54. And 3 quarter and 7 quarter is 10 quarters. Are you with me? But 10 quarter is just 2 and a half. 10 quarter, 10 quarter is just 2 and a half. So this is simply 56 and a half. 56 and a half and now we have to figure out how many people we have. How many people do we have? We have to add up all the number of people here which I should have done earlier which, which I did not do so we can do it here. Let's add up all the people. So we have four people here. Let's, let's do it in a different color so we can see it here so that we don't get confused. We had four people here. We had six people here. Here we had nine people. Here we had 12 people. Here we had 10 people. And here we had nine people. We just have to add them up. That's all it is. Let's do it together. One more time. We see six plus four is ten. I see a ten there. Ten plus ten is twenty. Twenty plus ten is thirty. And I see nine. Nine plus nine is eighteen. Eighteen plus two is twenty. One more time. Nine plus nine is eighteen. Eighteen plus two is twenty. Twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty. Oh, there you go. That makes it very easy. So it's fifty-six and a half divided by fifty. Fifty-six and a half divided by fifty. What are we going to do next here? That's very simple. Multiply top and bottom by 2. Multiply top and bottom by 2 because it doesn't matter if you if you can somehow in your calculation, not just here but anywhere at all in the exam, if, if you have to do some calculation where you have to figure out the numerical value of something, in that scenario, if you can somehow get your bottom to be 10 or 100 or some multiple of 10, take advantage of it because uh, now, I, now we really don't care what happens on the top, we really don't care how complicated the number is on the top, it's very, it's very easy to divide anything by 100. We're just going to move the decimal places two spots, that's it. Let's do it on the top here. So 56 times 2, 56, 56 times 2 is just going to be 112 because 50 times 2 is 100 and 6 times 2 is 12. So it's 112 and 2 times a half, well if you have two halves that's just one. So it's 113 and on the bottom we have 50 times 2. 50 times 2, I shouldn't have put a multiplication sign. It's just 50 times 2 is 100. 50 times 2 is 100. We end up with 113 over 100. 113 over 100. Now you, as you can see, it's very easy to figure out the amount because, because we, just, we can divide very easily. 113 over 100, the answer is 1.13. 1.13 is the answer. Just like yesterday, obviously it's the same answer, but a very different method. Very different met methodology. This is more of a traditional method. Yesterday what we did was very untraditional. Watch the two as I said. Watch yesterday's video and compare this work against that work. But first, I hope that you had already solved the problem yourself. Always solve the problem yourself ahead of time. You will get more out of it that way. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.